Hello everyone, good afternoon. I'm Prasoon Agrawal from EQ International Magazine and today I have the pleasure to be here with Mr. Santosh R. Patel who is the business head solar at Ganges International. Ganges which is the leading provider of mounting structures for the solar energy industry. Hello Mr. Santosh. Hello. How are you? Really good, really good. So first of all, I would just like to begin with a brief introduction about Ganges International. How did it begin and uh, what products and uh, services does it have to offer for the Indian market right now? See, uh, Ganges, we started uh, solar uh, five, uh, around six years before. Uh, 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 we started it with the uh, uh, production and manufacturing supply of the mounting structures. Then we slowly moved into the service side also. We started doing the complete installation uh, and termination uh, uh, of DC works uh, till inverter. In India, we have done uh, close to 3 gigawatt now with a market share of around 22%. Almost all the IPPs and the EPC uh, companies are working with us. Uh, this year itself we are doing close to 1500 megawatt even though uh, this year there are not many tenders uh, uh, after September but we are uh, closing in almost 1500 megawatt uh, this year itself uh, we have a plant at Pondicherry uh, where we manufacture all these mounting structures and uh, we operate from uh, Delhi uh, with all the uh, site infrastructure uh, uh, in place we have two uh, important tie-ups with the uh, US companies one for the rooftop uh, mounting structure and another is for the single axis tracking rooftop is panel claw and uh, for uh, single axis mounting tracker it is uh, the Sunlink we have been doing uh, uh, exports also very well almost close to around 10 to 12 megawatt uh, every month we are uh, supplying to us the rooftop mounting structures so this is regarding our uh, uh, company uh, and we have our own uh, uh, manufacturing unit we have our own design team and own project team so that is uh, the since is like a single stop shop for any customer there's our unique selling point and our manufacturing base, uh, uh, since it is at uh, Chennai, uh, near, uh, Pondicherry near Chennai, so it's close to the raw material also, close to us for our uh, imports and exports both, uh, which helps us in uh, beating the competition as well. I would also like to have your comments on the, on, the, on the type of technology which you use while manufacturing your products and how does it make a difference uh, uh, in, 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 in comparison to other uh, products uh, uh, available in the market see we were the pioneer in designing this low weight structure like earlier the structures were to be almost around 100 tons eh? we brought it down to almost 40 tons and now it is almost around 25 tons per so per megawatt yeah this is per megawatt now uh, once it has come to this stage now almost uh, all the people are doing the same so it is basically now uh, 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 drained down to like what is the material we are using how best we can source the material is ultimately it is known right because you see uh, the whatever had to be done in the designing part has already been done now uh, everybody is uh, doing so now uh, how to uh, go about the competition how to do it is based on your raw material sourcing what the type of raw material you are going to choose that's one plus we need to understand that there are certain things uh, in the after this design changes also some some places where we can optimize we can support the customer how is our uh, service to customer so those things uh, matter so uh, just to tell on the technology there is now nothing left in the designing almost everybody are doing the same type it is the basic way of how you are going to uh, uh, do the work since uh, we do almost close to around uh, 4 to 5000 tons a month there is around 160 to 170 megawatt a month so the that makes a difference for us the the capacity and uh, the cost uh, have come down for us and since we have everything in house uh, there's an added advantage so you have already shared the you know uh, business uh, business numbers and expectations for the coming year for your structures business i would also like to know the same for your this panel glow and the trackers business for which you have collaborated with uh, some foreign companies so your comments on that yeah see panel glow uh, the the collaboration is for the rooftop blaster structure it's one of the best structures in the world like almost uh, panel claw has a market share of around 22 percent in us and we are supplying to them uh, their 75 requirement 75 percent requirement from india uh, uh, the best thing about this uh, design is like uh, uh, it is designed for 180 kmbh wind speed and it has survived almost all the hurricanes and has been approved by almost all the municipalities of uh, the U.S. states eh, to use it on the, uh, their government buildings and their uh, organizations and everything. So it's such a proven product.
like in the last you can say three four years i think us has been hit by three to four storms or, uh, uh, not even a single uh, structure has moved so th there's an uh, advantage of uh, working with uh, that company and working on that product so it's a very good product to india india also is doing well we have, we have been uh, uh, supplying to very good companies and and very reputed companies also in, uh, it's like uh, amazon is going to start here uh, ikea is going to start here so all these companies are going to start using this product sunlink uh, there's more on the tracker side so tracker is also we have done uh, last year we did on 75 megawatt but you know with the decrease in price of modules uh, the if you see the price difference for the for a de developer tracker is not doing well now uh, they feel that uh, this addition, uh, like uh, on a project cost is around 16 to 17 percent, which they have to pay extra for the tracker. So uh, when, you, when, you, when they look at the returns, they are finding that going with a seasonal tilt or a fixed tilt is uh, better than a, a single axis tracker. So uh, that's on the tracker, but definitely we are going to come out with some good solution on the tracker also, where you can try to reduce the cost. That's what we are working on. So if the delta comes to around 7 to 8 percent, then uh, and if they get around 16 17 percent that means they are definitely going to gain, uh, gaining around 8 to 9 percent more so uh, the, uh, people like start using tracker yeah so i'll also like to have a comments on the uh, on the on the on the general business environment for regarding manufacturing the push with make in india program and likely impact of gst on manufacturing how has been your experience in this yeah i see the make in india program is good uh, gst Actually, as a manufacturer, uh, uh, we, we, uh, there's not much impact on us because ultimately it is the duty drawback uh, 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 what we get, uh, so the moderate what we get. So uh, definitely uh, there's no impact for us. But for the industry also it is good because it's a single tax. Uh, 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 like most of our issues are resolved, like uh, the check post uh, uh, dealing with different states, right? Uh, uh, now you can say even. Uh, if, I, if I consider the transfer the transit time the vehicles from Pondicherry to Punjab is almost reaching one day earlier uh, that's mainly because uh, the, the tools the checking and all has, has uh, reduced so that's a very good uh, thing for us then uh, coming to the uh, steel Yes, what is happening is in the, you know, the steel, internationally, the steel prices are uh, being uh, uh, are increasing and decreasing. Based on the same way, uh, the Indian prices are also fluctuating. So it's good for us. Anyway, uh, with GST, like uh, uh, for the developers, there may be a slight increase. But definitely, uh, even if you have seen the new projects also, the, the developers have taken at the same price. So I feel that they are also uh, happy with the GST and they are not feeling any heat of that. So just one last question on your uh, general, uh, your, your opinion on the general uh, market scenario for solar in India right now. You know, there has been, uh, in, 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 you know, uh, there has been issues like PPA renegotiation, the, the, the fears regarding the implementation of anti-dumping duty. So what's your general perspective on the market scenario right now? See, uh, 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 government is uh, uh, pushing solar and they are also told around 20 gigawatt uh, uh, PPS will be released soon. But yes, uh, anti-dumping, initially it may affect the solar business, you know, uh, the prices may go up. But if India can build it, build on the uh, their capacity of the modules or the cells, then uh, definitely uh, it will be good. Uh, but yes, uh, so, uh, the, uh, currently there are not many many big tenders uh, or uh, the, the, uh, the the new bidding is not happening, uh, uh, what we had expected. But uh, next year is going to be good as per the uh, 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 government uh, uh, information that has been provided. We hope so, it will be better. Yeah. Those are some encouraging words for the industry. Thank you so much for your time, Santosh sir. That was a really nice opportunity speaking with you. Thank you very much.